Hey guys, Sub here, the NBA. Today I want to talk to you guys about the NBA 2K12 E3 conference. Alright, so if you guys didn't see it, I would just type in NBA 2K12 gameplay on YouTube. You can check it out for yourself and then refer back to this review. Or you can just listen to the review. So anyways, before I get to the review, I just want to talk about you know the specs, such as the graphics. So if you compare the 2K12 graphics to 2K11, 2K10, they all they obviously get you know better every single game, but not by much. All right. So yeah, of course it's better than 2K11. It's better than 2K10, but not a noticeable difference. Okay. I mean you can tell, but barely. All right. But I mean hey, it's still better, right? So. You know, I guess you can call that a plus. So now I also want to talk about how their firing range is. For example, if Ray Allen is on the three-point line, if you refer back to 2K10 or 2K11, they would have four, you know, four bars under their name to indicate that they're a good shooter, which means they can make their shots most of the times. So it's a little bit different of a format now in 2K12, whereas you know, it's about four dots horizontally instead of vertically. You know, you gotta check it out for yourself. It's pretty hard to explain it, but I actually kind of think that's new, and I'm happy they didn't make it the same because we like change. We all like change. But now let's get to the gameplay. And I'm sorry to say, but this gameplay they presented not the actual. So it might not be the actual gameplay that you with, that you play with the controller, but it is the gameplay you play with the PlayStation Move, and that pissed me off because I thought that was horrible and you know it was dumb. All right, I thought that was it, you know mediocre. I mean, come on. All right, you have a PlayStation. Basically, what they show is they play the uh, Miami Heat versus the Los Angeles Lakers. You know, Kobe Bryant versus LeBron James, all that, and what you call it. You have the PlayStation Move controller in your hands, and now, of course, a PlayStation Move controller. If you guys don't know what that is, it's just a, basically a microphone. All right, that's all it is. It's a microphone with a purple speaker. All right, so basically, you just it's like a wand. All right, so you hold onto the wand and you just follow it on the TV and basically to block you like move the thing up or something in a blocks I mean you can't really create your own shot to make your own shot you just like touch the guy and he takes the best shot that he can take but you can't control if you want to take a fade away a leaner and all that so let me just tell you guys if you guys get this game please don't get it for the PlayStation move because I honestly thought that was the most dumbest thing I've ever seen in a video game because that was horrible. Just watch it for yourself and you guys will see. But overall, of course, the game's going to be better. <clears throat> what I want them to fix about the game, I'm sure, which a lot of people do as well, is the online gameplay. All right, Give us motives to play online. For example, when I used to play Halo 3 online, I mean, the ranking system was probably so, it was so genius, just like Halo 2, because you had a motive to play online and you got ranked higher because of your skill not because of your life what I'm trying to say is for example Call of Duty you can become a 15 prestige and you could be the worst player a preschooler a preschooler can become a 15 prestige in Call of Duty because you don't have to win to level up you just had to play whereas Halo 3 and Halo 2 if you are good at the game and you win your games you will rank up and that's what they gotta do with 2k11 they gotta give you some incentives to rank up they really got to do that. They also got to fix, you know, the posts. Because in 2K11, for example, if say your Pog is all in the post, and you know you're in the post and you just want to pump fake it, you click X and he'll just shoot it. And you, you know that's dumb because you want to pump fake it. So they got to fix a lot of things. But overall, I I think it's going to be a pretty good game. But I'm just really scared to see how it's going to work out with PlayStation Move and Connect. Of course, I honestly think Connect's going to be better than the PlayStation Move, but we're going to see how it's going to work out, guys. So let me know what you guys think on the demo. Do you think this game is going to be a success or a failure? Let me know, guys. Please subscribe. The NBA every day. Have a good one.